To a follow up on a WSAZ investigation, we've been telling you since January of 2022 about a man with dementia who was taken to the hospital but was able to walk away and died. Last week, we introduced you to a couple of educators using our coverage as a teaching tool. Their students came up with ideas to better protect patients, and tonight, those ideas are becoming reality. We find it only fitting since he is our inspiration that it be called Chuck's Law. One auditorium, two teachers, 13 students, and a handful of onlookers. To most, what happened in this auditorium might not look like a life-changing event. But the health and education leaders in attendance say it certainly could be life-saving. I've been a nurse for over 30 years. I had a father-in-law that had dementia. And you guys have absolutely no idea what you all have done. These 13 students formally pitching their ideas to protect patients with dementia to local health care leaders. We are the future health care providers. Yes, I said students. They're still in high school, but their work is well beyond their years. We introduced you to these students and their instructor, Andrea Clark, in April. The health sciences class at Mingo Central watched our documentary, 53 Days. It's the story of a man with dementia who was taken to Cabell Huntington Hospital but was able to walk away and die. His name was Chuck Carroll, and Chuck's story really hit home. With educators and students determined to make a difference for future patients with Chuck's story on their minds. And I can't imagine getting a call like, you know, like they had received and to think that we could come up with some system to prevent that from happening to someone else. You know, that was a driving force to push this further and to keep going. Our class now sees how serious health care is because some people don't know how serious it is. It's somebody's life. Their ideas include printing all paperwork for patients with dementia on purple paper and... Purple color pants with our logo and medical alert down the leg of them. In the back, we would like to put a tracker so that it wouldn't annoy the patient. And soon, those ideas will become a reality at a local hospital and private practice. Because these students didn't just come up with the ideas. They applied for a $30,000 grant to fund the projects. And they got it. Representatives from Logan Regional Medical Center and Williamson Health and Wellness attended the presentation, both blown away. To take your story and see the potential for what they could do is amazing to me. I believe my directors made the comment, I can't believe they're, they're in high school and they thought of this and they come up with these great ideas. Both Logan Regional and Williamson Health and Wellness on board to roll out the purple pants and the purple paper. Yes, absolutely, they will be implemented at our place. And from us, we have every intention on using all of your ideas to help us and help our patients. Healthcare leaders believe the ideas could go far beyond their facilities. And I could see other communities and schools, um, other hospitals and private practices from around the state say, oh my gosh, that worked there. Let's see how we can implement it here. And it may be that they have to change a few things, but I can see that it's something that could work. It's easy enough to work anywhere. Their work hopefully to be an inspiration to other students in West Virginia. So I will be sharing your project and your video with the permission of your teachers out with all the CTE health science education instructors around the state and help ask them to rise to the challenge to meet what you guys have done. Proof passionate educators and forward thinking teens can push for even higher health care standards in the years to come. They're not mine, but I could not be more proud if they were. This is what you want students to be. You want them to strive to make a difference and to see them excel in this is just amazing to me. They're, like I said, they're exemplary students. That It's everything that you want from students. How could we not be super proud? So far, there's no timeline on when Logan Regional Hospital and Williamson Health and Wellness will be implementing the ideas, but we will be following up with them. We'll be right back.